Hello there, Razzle48 here. I'm going to put some Razzle Dazzle in your day with Sly 3, etc, etc. Anyway, little story to tell. Um, my brother, he, um, he bought a PS2, and so I had to give him his memory card, which I was conveniently using for my Sly 2 LP. So forgive me if my coin amount is not the same. Plus, I bought uh, Jump Attack Level 2, which I didn't have throughout the first LP, and now we're buying the Paraglide. So I got those... Uh, things and so now we're gonna go play so how was your Christmas New Year mine was good uh, to be fair I did get Modern Warfare 3 I believe that's the new hot game everyone's playing these days hot game all the bros be playing dog no that's probably Skyrim to be fair I heard that Skyrim was like the game of the year or some crap like that but I got it so yeah See that armored supply truck? It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semifinals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. That's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. What? Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. I have so much I want to say about that, it's not even funny. First, notoriously stone-faced Belgians. Bentley, are you trying to be racist? And for two, um, other stuff that I forgot to say already, so that's wonderful. Anyway. Okay, Murray, no pressure, but you've got to find a Team Belgian pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. Let's... This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. You see, it's a... being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. Yeah, shut up. You see, it's times like this where be having being a comedian, having being a comedian, that's a proper grammar there, as your uh, professionology... I am just awesome with grammar today, professionology. Uh, where do I need to go? This is where having comedy as your profession really pays off. When you gotta get some creepy Belgian guy laughing. How do I talk to you? Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm a I dog. I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? I say that's offensive. And uh, he's mute, apparently. He cannot speak. Well, well let's see. Um, oh, political humor. This will... Government and whatnot. This will be hilarious. Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey. And you see... The chicken's not a turkey, or a Turk. It's a chicken! A French hen! What? Yeah, that made as little sense as half the jokes I make. That's uh, that, that was horrible. Let's try an impression. That Baron, he's always, I love flying, don't go outside, listen to me, I'm so smart, I'm the boss, my mustache is so macho, ha <laughs> ha. That's pretty lame, huh? Oh, I thought he was going to do Bandit Keith, say, in America. Well, they're not in America right now, so that would make sense. Historical humor, let's make fun of old people. What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? Turkey. The brains of his enemy. Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I, I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. Um, you would not make a good comedian, Murray, I'm sorry. Well, let's intellect him then. I can't make heads or tails of this coin. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Ah, uh. it's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh -huh. You're killing me. Oh, I'd rather kill you, actually. So let's try some physical humor. Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta -da! Hey, um. fish. Wow, that is the... What? What? Why is he, like, going to hysterical laughing for moments at a time? It's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. 
It's like he goes from being completely stone faced one minute to like <laughs> laughing his pants off to the next. Which you know you shouldn't laugh your pants off when you're in public. You know it might be a, you know you're probably breaking a few laws there. Hey, thief! What you weren't distracted by Murray's comedy? Jeez. Make the pull while he's laughing and he won't feel a thing. Yep, wheelchairs can do this in public. Hey, hey guy, check out what I can do. Ah, uh, yeah, I better stop that. Anyway. Jeez. I wonder what kind of voodoo... Hey, I've never failed at this before. Why am I doing so horrible? Anyway, I don't know what kind of voodoo is going on to where people... To where the loot glows blue like in this game. I don't know what causes that. Fine, we'll wait for the thing to happen. Just steal your hanky, I guess. Nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. Well, that was that was a wonderful adventure. I hope we can do it again sometime. Uh, boop -ba -doop -boo. Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. The driver of this truck must be really stupid if he doesn't notice that he's been going in circles for hours. I mean, I don't know the intelligence level of truck drivers these days, but it must be pretty low. It's a good start, but the truck just powered up its automated defenses. What? You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could what? get sticky. No. No. How many people arm their tow trucks with defense systems? That makes so much sense. Ugh. Whoa. They're gonna run me over there, guy. Are you blind? Whoa. Oh, well. Sorry about that, guy. Uh, I'll try to be maybe a little more careful next time. Oh, jeez, you jerk. Yeah, just keep throwing your wrenches at me. It's good for your environment. Heck yeah. Anyway. No, stop Keep releasing bear traps at me. Jeez, what kind of trucks install bear traps as their automated defense systems, let alone have them in the first place? I mean, come on. This makes... This is just dumb. That's all I have to say. It's just dumb. Also, the characters in this game have incredible acrobatic ability to jump, like, four times their height. I mean... And the guru, he, well, granted, there was a Star Wars reference in the in the approach to the guru, where um, yeah, on the plane, yeah, you're probably not remembering at all what I'm saying, but still, it was there. It, it was a thing. Ow. Um. Oh, sorry about that. He's dead. <laughs> oh wait, no, he's not. Darn it. I am horrible at this. Look at me. I'm cheese. <laughs> totally cheese. <laughs> Uh, it's very... Yeah, you're very gullible, my friend. I am sorry. Anyway. Jump. Jump. Jump! Uh, uh, slow motion. Totally necessary. Wide open. Bah, that's what she said. Um, yeah, that was expert aerodynamics. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Uh, emphasis on should be there. Anyway, hello guy, die. Uh, hey, you you were supposed to fall to your death there. That's how the physics in Sly Koopa works. Everyone but Sly falls to their deaths. I mean, Sly could fall to his death. I mean, I know that's happened multiple times due to my inexperienced as a Sly Cooper player. It's not like I've been playing this game for years at a time. No, that, that'd be horrible to... This is it. Crack um. the safe and make the swap. No pressure, but I think the driver has figured out where to go. It's about time. time. 
Man, he must be a redneck. What an idiot. And what kind of stupid country uses an ice sculpture as a lucky charm? I mean, it just seems to me to be a bad idea, especially if you're um, transporting it in a safe like this. I mean, it's sure to melt. I mean, it could be a refrigerated safe. You don't know these days, but the last time I checked, those are really expensive. And, uh, yeah, I mean, refrigerated safe's not something you see every day. Sorry, I'm trying to focus, and I'm a champion. It's not like I failed multiple times at all. Now, what's Sly gonna do with that? I wonder. Great work. Team Iceland is sure to blame the Belgians. They'll be all over each other in tomorrow's dogfight. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't talk about that, Bentley. That's just very inappropriate. Anyway, uh, where do I go? Um, where do I go? Okay, we gotta go. Hello. Murray face what I'm sure uh, I'm sure sly is perfectly capable of doing this you judgmental Jack Bentley anyway this is that for those of you who don't know this is the paraglide Ah, oh, you've played sly 2 or watch my sly 2 LP even I mean I know sly 3 is like that hot new game that all the bros are getting these days but still I mean it's not like it don't not like most of you have played it before. Anyway. <laughs> Check out the bounciness of cheese. What kind of cheese is this? It bounces like that. It's just... I, I'm not gonna t I'm not gonna lie, that scares me. Um... How much money... Do I have not... Uh, and you're worthless if you're not rich, as everyone knows. Anyway, oh, what was that? Angry Murray. I love how Murray can defy gravity just by stomping on the ground. It's quite an impressive skill he has there. Bouncy cheese. Looks like hard partying team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing. This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man, you've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical! Boat rowing, what every thief's dream job is. Well, as we all know, of course, I'm sure Sly's mentioned that countless times about how he's so desperate to row a boat. Oh, well, this is good physics. This is wonderful. Look at Mori's torso. It's like going in and out of his stomach. That makes no sense. Then again, this whole mission doesn't make sense. I mean, this is like really bad physics. I mean, I know it's like a general idea. You can like spam the button and it won't do anything at all. I hate rowing against the currents, it requires much spamming. Spamming, as we all know, what every video game player's area of expertise is, because all you have to do is press one button over and over. Which, to be fair, all the cool games do require that. I mean, you're Skyrim, I mean, you're spamming your R1, like, all the time. It's not like it's a game like Blaze Blue that actually requires combos and some strategy. Oh, what is this strategy you speak of? It, I just have not heard of something so obscure. Uh, I have nothing to say. This is quite a boring thing. Oh yeah, that that's wonderful. Yeah, sure, a little raft like this can definitely withstand an explosion like that. Yep, that's like the most obvious thing ever. I mean, 
Who wouldn't believe that? I mean, you know, like your little inflatable boat. See, again, could withstand many explosions. I mean, surely they were designed for this purpose of... I know, you mean, you see your inflatable bloats. Uh, bloats. What? No. And on the back, it says, Excellent for use in underwater minefields. Make it's... your way to the hotel ventilation system. Murray, stay and guard the boat. What's the point of all this machinery in here? It doesn't look like it has any point at all. I mean, surely, the Baron's, uh, worker, whatever you call them, whatever you call them, wonderful, wonderful terminology, are, um, quite clearly, uh, whoa, I didn't see that for a second, are quite clearly, uh, workaholics in that they install all this crap because it looks really unnecessary. It's also really unstable. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know if it's, like, an obstacle course for, like, but seriously, everyone builds their obstacle courses in sewers. I mean, go in your sewer, you'll see tons of wires and and crap. It's quite obvious. Nice work. You're almost there. Be careful not to wake these guys up. They're a paranoid group and have probably set up some crude burglar alarms. Is that so? Die. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. That was just too hilarious an opportunity to pass up. Yeah, shut up, Bentley. I know I kind of time traveled a few seconds back, but still. Yeah, these guys must be really light sleepers if they can be woken up just by the falling of a deck of playing cards. But, cards. What kind of accent am I trying to do there? Oh, come on, man. It's like one of those guys from the 80s. I didn't live through the 80s. Nice work. Head back to Murray and the raft. Oh no, everyone there. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. That that guy with the uh, 70s, 80s, I'm not clear on my accents of eras gone by, but, um... Yeah, shut up. I've heard this already, man. But seriously. These guys. I did the same thing wrong again. Yeah, and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, phone! Like, 75% of my LP parts are interrupted by that Don phone. And, you know, I'm not appreciated of it. No, appreciated. Appreciative. Uh, my grammar is wonderful today. And, yeah, get the helmet. Uh, looks... Be funny if you took, like... Darn it, Sly! You're so horrible at what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Should I just shut up? I'm doing my best, okay? I mean, yeah, can you blame me? I mean, this is a difficult thing to do. I mean, double jumping, flipping through this crap. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard your voice already. Shut up. It's like, this helmet... I think this helmet's just taunting me. It's like, it'd be funny if they made like two of those. And made like a breastplate that was spiky. That'd be that'd be funny. I, I'd, I'd pay hundreds of dollars to see that. That'd be probably one of the funniest things in the world. Wow. Yeah, that. And, because you know, funniest thing in the world, breasts. <laughs> it's just... Hilarious, really. Comedy at its finest extent. Anyway. But do you know what's even better? Rowing a boat, according to Murray. He he did seem a little over-enthusiastic uh, when Bentley mentioned what he was going to be doing. But, but, you know, what can you do? People have their strange interests. I mean, I don't know many people who are so overly excited to row a boat. I mean, maybe Murray has just been a sailor's child or something. I don't know. Sorry, pal. The valve gates changed position. We need to escape through another tunnel. Yeah, totally. But fear not. The Murray has an unnatural sense of direction. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I think they did this on purpose so that there wouldn't be repetitive gameplay. Hmm? Hmm? Does that sound right? Ah, uh, I think it does. And why wouldn't it? Whoa, whoa. That mine is going against the current. That is really good physics. <laughs> this is dumb. This is dumb. Okay. Don't know. I don't know what kind of strange physics is applying here. This is... 
I mean, come on, this is so unrealistic. I mean, like, come on, Raccoon and Hippo rowing a boat through a sewer. I mean, this is unrealistic to begin with. But, but, seriously, what the heck? Okay, this is safe. And, and, and of course, I mean it because I'm a champion, obviously. I'm sorry, I did get a comment about how loud the button pressing was. But, um, you know, I can't control it. My mic is kind of right there. That sort of thing. It's like at my computer, right in front of my face. That's probably why my voice is, like, overly loud. Hearing most of my parts. Oh my gosh, this gameplay is so repetitive. This is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Land ho! Goes the land. Jeez, I'm sure the. Jeez, Murray, no need to insult the land like that. It's probably a very nice person. No need to call it a hoe. Land ho, in fact. Land is a person now. It's wonderful. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> you good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, pal. Can do with a vengeance. Yeah. Planting with a vengeance. <laughs> oh, God, this game. Anyway. Oh, whoa, friend. Oh, yep. That was wonderful gameplay right there. Uh, you could see why I was named Sly Cooper Player of the Year. Uh, honestly, that didn't happen. Or he didn't actually press that. <laughs> Murray is obviously a ghost in that he can move stuff without touching it. I would get into the whole talk about why ghosts are so stupid, but I won't do that. Because I'm sure that point has been made before by someone cough cough dish ban. But, yeah. Good hello, friend. Oh. Sorry, friend, you seem to have fallen. And you can't get up. Life alert. Wonderful. Ow, that really hurt. Ow, that really hurt. You could, you could just tell how in the- Whoa! Wow, that guy really flew. Yeah, wonderful. You could just tell how enthused I am to play this game. Yeah, what the hell? Anyway. I love how these things are, like, so small that you can, like, jump on top of them. But they actually get bigger when we actually go inside of them. And that's what she said. But still. I mean, like, did you see how small that little hangar was? And look at this. It's, like, freaking huge. It's so unrealistic. That's Belgium's prize plane strung up from the ceiling. It's held in place by these anchors. Destroy them and the plane should come crashing down. Seems like these lasers might roast my hulking bulk. True. You'll have to compact yourself using your ball move to travel safely beneath the laser grid. Check. You'll need to use yeah. your charged ball attack to take charged balls attack. <laughs> Go into ball and this game has so many inappropriate references, but force. but you Let's know what can try. you do? Wow. That plane looks ready to fall. Just one more excellent work. Plant the Viking helmet and the Belgians are sure to blame Team Iceland. Yeah, man. Righteous, dude. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward silence. Okay, what do I need to do? Um, do I have time? I have five minutes. Uh, this might be a three-parter. I'm not sure. Let's go in here. I've obviously got some work to do. And I'm sure, once again, I'm sure, like, the, the physics of Harry Potter's tent from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire applies to these little things in that they're huge on the inside and small uh, on the Murray, outside. I've been working to get our hangar security devices online, and they're almost operational. 
Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Cool story, bro. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stay and watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Yeah, that'd be great. You're not Brainiac, chum. You'll be safe while my fists are on duty. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City, did you? I figure you joints let me joints. up your airplane <laughs> and we're even. Joyce. You and what army? Dumb guy. Dumb guy. Army. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, boys. I paid you off good enough. Time to crack some skulls. It's only one. Bert, it's only one person here. Sure I can. Just look at the damage. Oh yeah, wonderful. Um, you're totally losing life. Oh yeah. I'm a brick wall. Brick wall. It could be. <sighs> yes, this is wonderful. Yeah, we get to use machinery. Jeez. You got like five tons of machine parts thrusted into your balls. That looked. Might have hurt you there. Sorry about that. I can take it all day, lightweight. Yep, definitely. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This guy has a crude sense of humor. <laughs> I hit that guy in the head. <laughs> okay, you're dead. You're dead. I've got my kneecap! Definitely. One. Uh, 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 uh. I have no commentary for this. <laughs> Just enjoy the massive manslaughter, I suppose. Or, or woman. It's hard to tell the genders of animals these days. I mean, like, other than the obvious method. Oh, yay, explosives! Explosions. Explosions. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Here. Die. Out of my face, bro. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Okay, that that's probably getting real old real fast. Jeez, stop that! Jeez, stop throwing your wrenches everywhere, guy. Oh, right in the solar plexus. Is that a fancy Don't word? Don't think for... this is over, meatball. You're not untouchable. This is just the beginning of a really bad day. Um. Goodbye? Question mark. Gunshot wasn't making idle threats. I'm reading multiple hostiles moving through the sewers toward our position. Wonderful. Fortunately, my security devices are almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Um. Good. Let's see. I can switch oh. between Hello. computers by moving the left analog stick. And now to test the security by pressing um. the triangle button. Circle button, X button, or square button. I can activate the traps for the currently selected sewer. Hmm, they appear to take a few seconds to recharge after being triggered. Um. Looks like they're working perfectly. Um. And just in time, too. Murray, they're upon us. If one gets through my traps, you'll have to take him out. Got it. The Cooper plane is as safe as a baby in its aircraft Oh, hello. Crib. Oh yeah, you died. Yeah, you totally got burned. Yeah, oh no, I can't use that one. I have to use this one. Oh, you got burned too. Ugh, this is this is gonna be just great. I can tell. Okay, you can die. You can die. Um, yeah, that guy. Oh well, thanks for informing me. I definitely wasn't keeping my eyes on both screens. Definitely not. Ugh. Okay, you can fry. You can die. Fry, die, other stuff that end with I. I say, why do I have to do this? We stopped that group, Murray, but it looks like more are on the way, and they're packing explosives. Wonderful. <laughs> explosives. <laughs> okay, you die. You can fry. You can die. I don't know what you can do. 
because, you know, a lot of racism has been held against pigs. I mean, as we've known from watching Charlotte Webb as children. Definitely. When are we gonna get some intense play in action? I wanna go to, like, where you gotta switch between them constantly, like, yeah, intense play in. Because this is boring. I'm sure it's boring to you, too. Just listening to me talk about nothing in particular. Oh, well, now it's somewhat difficult. What? Oh, well, that's good. Oh, no, it's totally hard. <laughs> this is actually more difficult than I remember. Not that I remembered it being too difficult, though. And I'm not making fun of you if you have problems during this. I mean, you've seen me play this game. You know how many problems I have with it. This is a very difficult game, to be fair. Oh, well. Oh, whoops. Totally got through there. Sorry. Murray, you actually have to do something. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, this is really repetitive. How much more of this is it going to make me do's? Do's. Sigh. Oh, well. Sorry, Murray. <laughs> or whoever has to take responsibility for this. These guys are idiots. Surely they would learn from their comrades' mistakes, but apparently they're just dumb, I guess. I mean, come to think of it, they are guards. Although, to be fair, the guards in Skyrim <laughs> majorly overpowered. To intimidate us. Looks like he's got muscles and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just um, hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Ham? Humans against monsters? Do you read me? Are you out there? I read you. Oh, hello. Um, this is sort of an awkward first face to face, but. But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous paid-off Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double-crossers hurt your team's plane. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says. <laughs> She's full of herself. Oh, that's funny. Funny. Speaking of funny, and watch an anime. It's like the funniest thing in the world, including Rosario plus Vampire. Check that out. I, I recommend too an uh, too much anime to you guys. Oh, wait. It's about a vampire. Just couldn't tell by its name. Yeah, you definitely don't know how to do it. Just hit the definitely not. To lower your cable and grab oh, if it like instantly head. goes up. Use the R1 button to kick on the thrusters and yank things off the ground. Um, Sweet. it's on fire! Ah, mayday! Ah. Some enemies require a few yanks to defeat. To maximize your power, boost in one direction, pull out the cable, then turn around and boost the other one. Or you could just spam R1, just like in Skyrim. I'm not obsessed with Skyrim. Definitely not. What are you thinking about? Viewer. Penelope, I'm detecting incoming tanks. Oh, hello. They could do some serious damage to our hangar. <laughs> Affirmative. Those tanks are heavy. You'll have yeah. to boost back and forth. Jeez. 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 Mind the gap. We. <laughs> Very enthusiastic gameplay. Uh, where are you taking me, Mr. Arrow? Jeez, talk about some things. Um, there's something to talk about. Opa. 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 Is that some kind of Holland language? I don't know if the Hollands... Hollands? Is, is that what you call people who live in Holland, the Hollands? That sounds right. Hey, pal. Nice to see ya. 
But you're not seeing them. Yeah, my aim is definitely top notch. I definitely blew up that tank. Little RC chopper capable of destroying tanks. Get yours today for only not for only ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair price. Um. Whoa, whoa, flying tanks. That's that to be a great revolutionary breakthrough. I think some people should look into this. Enjoy the view. Don't really well, care yeah. who to the fact that I'm not, definitely not a, oh, whoa. Friend, you have cannon balls. Only thing important about that is balls. Kind of making the building shake there. What kind of what kind of wrenches are you throwing, bro? Great job, Fidelity. You're the best RC pilot I've ever seen. Ah, uh, those thugs deserved it. No one sells out the Black Baron and walks away scot free. Yeah. Okay, team. We're all set up for the Aces semifinals. Once Sly arrives at the team hangar, we'll prep the plane and suit up for competition. Wonderful. <sighs> Holland. Ooh, someone died. Wonderful. Because, you know, I'm so enthusiastic about death. You know, death to the... Um... Greeks, I guess. Do Greeks even exist anymore? I thought I made that point in Spike Fox, but I guess not. Oh, whoa. You're on a boat. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you hated it that much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> run, run and drown yourself to death about it. Why not? We have eight minutes to do this flight thing. Okay. Do I have money? I want money. No, I do not have money. No, I don't want to be Bentley. Crippled people will not help us. <laughs> Just being so offensive in this video. Uh, let's see. So we get to fly a plane, righteous dude. Yeah, we get to go to Axi Akiz semifinals. Akiz, not Aces. Yes, uh, not notice at all, please. Yay, that's not poorly animated at all. Suit up, partner. Almost time for the semifinals. Yes. Fly playing in the rain. Stay sharp, Sly. Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered. But I have a life Relax, bar. Mom. This is gonna be great. I have a life bar. They all die on contact. That's what's great about being a main character. Planes fly. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is. Whoa! This is too much action for one man to. for one man to take in! Whoa! Dogfight action, reaction. Ow! Yeah, it's not one of my favorite activities, being burned alive. Well. It does sound like a rather heartwarming activity. Oh, bah, oh, ha, bah, ha. No, that was appalling. Whoa, whoa. 
I don't know where Sly learned all these techniques. Also, it was raining a minute ago. What happened to that? Jeez, this is just so intense. Uh, what? What? Who keeps, like, ammo for airplanes laying underneath bridges? Just con conveniently laying there. Your rope, you totally facepalmed into it and collected it somehow. Come on, die already. Yes, delicious dog. Yeah, delicious dog fight. I didn't know when dogs fought it tasted delicious. What? Refreshments of the sale, yes. I definitely want some fresh in my re's. Get it? Refreshments? Wow, my joke's so horrible today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you have run into ammo. Somehow recharges your gun. With these photon blue lasers, I guess. Nice kebab! Nice kebab. I, I why, why is Dimitri, like, so past century dog I mean I know that I know what what like the uh, people of today are who they are I mean they're like yo dog what's pimping yo we're all hip to the jive man head on back or we're disqualified head on back or we're disqualified you should see more enthusiasm Bentley not that I'm one to talk I mean you, you've seen how my enthusiasm level in, is today it's definitely way up there anyway uh, so intense. Die, die, die. Let's run into the ground. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Stay inside the ring. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No need to repeat yourself 15 billion times. I like that number, 15 billion. It's definitely a number. I love how they don't shoot back 95% of the time. I love just randomly throwing out random percentages 95% of the time. Because, you know, ammo under a bridge, new, new, is that like a new trend, ammo under a bridge? I mean, I mean, I can understand, like, maybe rap music. You know, I, I absolutely hate that stuff, but I can understand it, I guess. People like listening to people go and say, yo, what's up, man? I just don't find it funny. Or anything that would be interesting. But still, it's a thing. So, we are not ones to argue with it. I just let people who are who have uninteresting tastes go their separate ways and whatnot. Whoa! Wherever these guys took flying lessons, they're horrible. Oh no, my aim is bad. Oh god. Die! Die! Heck yeah, I do. I chop it up with a knife. No duh, Sherlock. Holmes? Why, why do they call him Sherlock Holmes? Is he like a homie? Or is he like... Did he star in like the home alone? Or... Home... It's like homely? Ain't that a word for ugly? I never watched any Sherlock... Oh, whoa. I never watched any Sherlock Holmes movies. Die. Last two targets sighted. What is this, Evangelion? Evangelion was one of the greatest enemies. It's Bono, Bono. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Man. What am I doing? Oh, hello. Die. Well, that's wonderful! Yeah. Great. What do I need to do?
Yeah, slideshow. Again. Thanks to Sly's flying, we're officially in the Aces Finals. Our opponents, Team Mugshot and Team Black. How ironic. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Just like in every Our level, take down the boss. The competition will be Mugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. <laughs> Here okay. is the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Yeah, one Sly, you find and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. <laughs> when the face. two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the final. Um. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers, and has been known to bring in a squad of blimp gunships when things look grim. Yep, the definitely to legal. The problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast yeah, so drugs. that the guru will be able to ride it and drugs. take out the some of the all local problems. guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll mean more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. Yeah. Well, I've had enough. I'll be back when I'm a, when I actually have something good commentary to talk about because I know I probably bored you these three or four parts. So for now, this is Razzle48 saying goodbye. I'll see you next time, and I'm sorry, I'll do better next time.